So Dallas Keuchel has made a decision. He has signed with the Chicago White Sox. And I checked out the White Sox. So we're going to talk about this team because I was looking at their roster. And they're good. And he drives it into right center field. Hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And today, we're going to talk about another free agent who's fallen off the books, another big pitcher whose name is no longer out there and available because he has signed with the White Sox. We're talking about the one and only Dallas Keuchel. So Dallas Keuchel has signed for three years, 55.5 million dollars with the Chicago White Sox. Congratulations to him. Congratulations to the White Sox and to the White Sox fans. So Dallas Keuchel is now a white sox or he's actually should i say he is a white sock so yeah so dallas so dallas keichel is a white sock keichel was eight and eight with the braves last year but remember he didn't even start the season till about june because he was chilling waiting for a team to sign him he was waiting for his contract that he was happy with not that he was just chilling i'm sure he was working out i'm sure he was getting ready nevertheless he comes out he is 8-8 eight eight with a 3.75 ERA. He only pitches 112.2 innings, gives up 115 hits. But you know what? He is a former Cy Young Award winner. He won 20 games for Houston in 2015. He won 14 games in 2017 with a 2.9 ERA that year. But the last couple years, he's been around 3.75. So certainly the White Sox can hope that he improves a little bit over those numbers. But realistically, the White Sox are so loaded offensively, they just needed some decent pitchers in there. And when you got a former Cy Young Award winner, that's going to be a decent pitcher. You throw him into the rotation. They signed Gio Gonzalez. They got a couple of good arms in there that we'll talk about. The White Sox just needed that. They needed to bolster their rotation a little bit and let their offense do their work because they got a ton of guys who have hit 20-plus home runs. They got some 30-plus home run hitters. And it's not just home runs. We're not talking about guys who are hitting 30 home runs and batting 210. They got guys with decent batting average. They got guys who can get on base. They are freaking loaded. They got guys who are waiting in the wings coming through the minors who are just about big league ready that are going to seriously help this team so look out twins fans look out indians fans you don't have to worry about just each other anymore the white Sox. i know they have not been in the mix for a while white Sox are kind of a kind of a nothing team you know what they've been but i think they're not going to be a nothing team in 2020 look out for the chicago white Sox because they are good and here it is, the famous depth chart that I like to look at. Check this out. Left field, Eloy Jimenez, that is no joke right there. 31 home runs, 267 average. So right there, you got power in left field. You jump over to center. As of now, they got Adam Engel out there. That could change. Not that Engel's bad, but there are some, there's another center fielder I want to talk about who's getting ready to be promoted anytime. Out in right field. What do we have? No more Masara, former Texas Ranger. They picked him up in a trade. He hit 19 home runs last year. He hit 268. So he's a good hitter. You jump to the infield. Who we have? Yoan Moncada at third. 25 home runs. 315 average. 367 on base. Serious hitter there. Move over to shortstop. Tim Anderson. Pretty much a star. Most people have heard of Tim Anderson. He hit 335 with 18 home runs. He is potentially an all-star. This guy is legit over at second base. As of now, Garcia is listed. He's very versatile. He has played every position in his career except first and catcher. So he can play anywhere. He can be a role player. He can be a platoon player. But I'm going to talk about someone else who's getting ready also to get promoted who could take over at second base over to first surely no more power right jose abreu 33 home runs 284 average and that's what i love power plus good batting averages power plus good on base percentages not just you know 35 38 home runs of a 210 average with 212 strikeouts no 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 not that they don't strike out but not to that level. These guys get on base. These guys make contact and they can hit home runs. And we already know about Yasmani Grandal, former Dodger, got signed by the White Sox and he is going to really help them as well. And as you can see, McCann, there is a backup catcher. So they're pretty much loaded all around. Zach Collins is their DH as of now. And uh, he had some nice power in the minor leagues, has not converted it yet to the big leagues, but he's going to get more opportunities. And uh, potentially he could be another power hitter. I mean, the power on this team, yeah, there's no, you know, 150 home run, you know, judge type hitter, but just all around a lot of power. But what about center field? What I was talking about, Adam Engel out there. What happens if they need, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit of upgrade up in center field? All 
with the Indians, of course. Here's a fly ball, well hit, hooking down the left field line. Mount Castle back to look at it, but that one clears the white line atop the fence. It's a home run. Luis Robert, his 16th. Center fielder, he only hit 328 in the minors. 32 home runs, 92 RBIs, 376 on base percentage. This dude is legit. He's going to get promoted in 2020. He is going to hit home runs. He is going to help. And at second base, there is another guy waiting in the wings, and that's Nick Madrigal, and he is a second baseman. He doesn't have the power that all these, not that they need more power. I think I've already gone through how much power they have, but he hit 311 in the minors, 377 on base. He knows how to make contact with the ball. He knows how to get on base, and that is going to be a great upgrade if they can bring him up at some point. So clearly, as far as offensively, I think the White Sox are, they're just all around good. They just have good hitters, solid hitters. Again, maybe not one absolute superstar. Yeah, they got Tim Anderson. They got Jose Abreu. They got, you know, they got all stars. But I don't know if they have this, you know, one MVP candidate. Do you need an MVP candidate when you have these type of players all around the field? I mean, they look really, really, really freaking legit out there. As of now, this has not been updated. It shows Lucas Giolito as the first starter, as the ace, and he's actually not bad. 14 and 9, 3.41 ERA, but most impressively, 228 strikeouts in 176.2 innings. I would say that that is a legit arm right there. And of course, now they have Dallas Keuchel coming on board, and they also signed Gio Gonzalez, so that rotation is going to be all right. And you jump over to the bullpen, Alice Colome, as their closer, had 30 saves, 2.80 ERA. He is a really good closer. And then Kelvin Herrera, you know, the former closer for the Royals. So he is a good pitcher. He didn't have a great season in 2019, looking to have a bounce back year. But, you know, do you need a shutdown, absolutely awesome bullpen? When you have this type of offense and a good rotation, you don't need it. It's nice. You definitely don't want a you know 2016 Giants bullpen, who, if you don't know, were absolutely atrocious. This is a team that is going to compete, I believe, for a wild card or possibly a division title. The teams that they need to really worry about are probably more than likely going to be the Twins and, of course, the Indians. No offense to Tigers fans or Royals fans. I mean, I'll talk about your teams too, but I think right now Royals and Tigers are down. And, of course, Twins and Indians are the teams to worry about. But right now, the White Sox is going to be the up-and-coming team. They are coming up from the bottom, and they're going to move towards the top. They're going to win a bunch of games. They are really freaking loaded. Now, And like I said, obviously, they would love to have another ace in there. They would love to have a, you know someone who can really go out there and win games. But you know who knows? Lucas Giolito could come out, have a, his big year. You never know what's going to happen. And obviously, Dallas Keuchel, with a full spring training and preparation, maybe he'll have a bounce back year as well. So don't know how that's going to work out. But right now, this team looks legit. This team looks freaking good. I wouldn't want to play the White Sox. I can tell you right now. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Tell me what you think about the Chicago White Sox and this signing. Dallas Keuchel, they have signed Keuchel. They've signed Grandal. They are really upgrading their team. They're making trades. They are trying to compete in the American League Central in 2020. Are you a White Sox fan? If so, what do you think of the signing? You got to be happy. If you're an Indians or a Twins fan, you got to be pissed. Let me know below. Thank you again so much. Y'all have a fantastic day and a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you think of the deal. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And hit that thumbs up button. Check the links in the description below. I got a Patreon page. I got a Facebook page. I got a Twitter page. I got a website. HumpBabyBaseball.com. We're taking baseball all off season long. And I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya! When the Giants come to town It's bye-bye